Hey guys, it's Amy. Um, welcome back to me. No, um, I am going to do a quick video today. Well, quick in Amy time means I don't really know what that means. But um, I was looking for one particular lipstick in my purse. And sorry, I thought my door was open. Um, and I ended up finding... Oh, this is a perfume. Which, I put this perfume on as though you guys were going to be able to smell me. I'm like, oh, I'm going to film. I should put on this perfume. Eh? Um, it is the Pacifica Himalayan Patchouli Berry Rollerball. And it smells so stinking good that I just, I don't know, I have to have like a full like spray bottle of it. Even though it's actually not expensive, but it's expensive for me right now, which I will get into into another get into in another video. It's kind of late right now. So um, anyway, if you want to see all the lip products that I just kind of poured into this bowl that I found in my purse. I have no clue how many there are. Um, I might swatch them, I might not. They're all about the same shade. It's so ridiculous. Um, but anyway, if you want to see what I kind of tend to use the most, what ends up in my purse, then just keep on watching. Okay, so yeah, I was going through my purse and... Like I said, oddly I found this perfume, put this perfume on so that you guys can smell me. And then I proceeded to film a video complete with swatches for you. I swatched all 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 lip, or lip product. Well, they're all lip products. 14 lipsticks, 1 tinted lip balm, and then I have another lip balm that I didn't swatch because it's not going to show up. But I didn't have it on record, so that was awesome of me. I've done that so many times, I don't know what my problem is. And then I look over the monitor and there's no red light. Just no red light. Like, I think they should have a red light on the front of the camera. Like, you shouldn't have to pull the viewfinder out. You should, ha you should be able to see, especially when mine doesn't have a viewfinder that moves, which is why I use the monitor. They should have, like, a blinking red light or a solid red light, some sort of light that lets you know that you're recording when you're looking at the camera. I don't know. Anyway, first item I had, and I only have 13 minutes or my battery is going to, or my memory card is going to fill up, so I'm going to try and get through this really quickly. First item I have is a lip balm. It is from BKR Paris, and it is just their water balm. I don't know if you'll be able to read this because I did turn the lights on really bright. So it's just a really amazing balm. It smells like roses. If you don't like that, you're not gonna like this, especially like on your lips. It doesn't taste like roses though. I have boxes that are falling over there. Creepy. I have a ghost. And I have like dug into this. It started like up here and I'm all the way like down here and I just got it in my Ipsy bag so um, and also this is my July Ipsy bag yeah July and if you want to see an unbagging leave a comment down below and I will go ahead and pull all those products out and you'll be seeing this one again but you'll be seeing four other great products so yeah just let me know if you want that. Alright, so I pulled all of these products out of my purse. And as you can see, they are all, except for like two of them, they are all about the same shade. Obviously this red one is nowhere near... There, there's a mirror. I can see myself in the mirror. I don't know why I'm looking at the monitor. Okay, there's a red one. Um, this one is kind of funny because I have 
two. So I actually have one more lipstick than I said I did. What did I say? I had 15, so I had 16? 17 lip products? I don't know. Just too many. These are the exact same thing. They are both wet and wild, bare it all. They are dupes for MAC Velvet Teddy. And this is the swatch of that. And my shirt, my hair, everything, like my eyebrows are caterpillars. There's a whole story behind that. Um, my hair is straight and I feel kind of funky. I don't know, usually when my hair is straight it's pulled back. I leave it, I do it curly when it's down. But the eyebrows, I don't really have time to talk about them. And I don't have time to talk about what I had talked about in the video that wasn't filming but I will do it in the next video. All I'm going to say real quickly is that I am excited to film again. Like, I am actually wanting to get up and film. I am just lazy and I'm not doing it. So, it's totally different than how I was feeling, say, a month to six weeks ago. And I am really enjoying the filming process again. Not so much the editing, which is why the declutter video that you will see before this, but it's it's been sitting in my memory card for at least like four or five days. And I don't know. Not long after, I think I did it the day after I did like the two or three minute video. But anyway, I'm running out of time. I only have ten minutes. Um, well, that's not true. I can delete some videos make some room. But anyway, yeah, I'm excited to film and I'm going to be filming more. So, also my shirt, this here is Mitch Hedberg. If you do not know who Mitch Hedberg is, we cannot be friends. I'm sorry. You may be the best person in the entire world, but um, all I will say is he is, was, Unfortunately, he passed away. Um, a great stand-up comedian. So, look him up. Google him. He is hilarious. Alright, next up we have Chi Chi's Viva La Diva in Social Climber. And this one is this shade. I will just show them to you like this because I don't necessarily know which swatch matches up. I think this is Social Climber. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it has to be. This is Social Climber. So it's a really bad, bad swatch. But there's that. Great formula. Australian brand. Not easy to get in the States, but love it anyway. Alright, here is a Rimmel Lasting Finish lip pencil in the shade 007 Rose Quartz and that's the color of that, basically the same color as the pencil itself and this is the swatch of that which really looks a lot like this guy right here which I will show you next which one that is. It is Colourpop's Lumiere. You can even see that. And this is that shade. Again, this guy is the swatch. And then there's something interesting about this lipstick. This is like one of my favorites of all time. I absolutely love it. Um, this guy, Scorpio Moon. This is one of the two newest lipsticks that Kathleen has come out with with ColourPop. Um, oh, Kathleen, obviously, not obviously, you may not know, did Lumiere, so this was a collab with Colourpop, one of her first ones, with them, and this is from the Zodiac Collection. So, this one is called Scorpio Moon, and this is what it looks like, and this is it, right there. She said it was supposed to, whoa, I'm not out of focus. She said it is supposed to be a 
Luxe lipstick version of the Libby Stick. And ignore this, it's a burn from a curling wand. Um, the Lippy Sticks uh, Lumiere that I just showed you. So I can see how it's it's the same, only different, which is what she was going for. So there's that. Next up, these are the boxes that those came in. They say Lux, like in Constellation form. And this one is the other color that she did, and it's called What's Your Sign? And she said it is her perfect nude. So that is that one. And it's, it is a really great nude. It's a great color. It's just brown enough, but not too brown to be, like, or too light to be something that I can't wear. So I really enjoy it. Next up is Too Faced Melted Matte in Chihuahua. And this is also a great formula. I mean, these all ended up in my purse for a reason. And it has a sponge tip applicator. And product is coming out of it right now. That's what that looks like. And it's all messy. Which one is this? This one is... Oh, crap. It's got to be this. Yeah. This is the swatch of this one. It's a bad swatch because of the sponge tip applicator being odd. But yeah, um, it's just a really great color. I mean, you can tell the colors I like to wear. This is actually Scorpio Moon. So the darker one that Kathleen did with the Wet n Wild bear it all just dabbed on top of it so that's what is on my lips today the scorpio moon just looked a little little like a little much i guess um with the fact that i don't have anything on other than blush highlighter mascara and eyeliner and my crazy caterpillar brows which i have a couple minutes i'm going to delete a video and make this just a little bit longer because it wouldn't be an Amy video if it wasn't longer, so. No, I was just going and filling in all of the hairs that were like lower underneath my brow, but were definitely te technically brow hairs. They definitely were. So I just filled, I ended up filling in this one more, and I'm like, well, now I have to match the other one. And I saw that there were all these hairs, and I sort of did it as an experiment to see what my brows would look like if I went and got them tinted, or if I tinted them myself. I do have the um, Just For Men face hair dye, face hair dye, face dye. Yeah, I, I guess it's still hair if it's on your face. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. So anyway, I obviously have like a lot. They're a lot bushier at the front, and they're like thicker straight across. And the crazy thing is, is this is really how my brows used to be, but I destroyed them so badly in the 90s and 2000s that I just, I don't know. I mean, you've seen my brows with no product. I actually film a lot with no product in my brows. So, they're big bushy caterpillars today. A few products left here. This is the ColourPop collaboration with Kathleen Lights. <laughs> I obviously like a lot of the same stuff she does or like the things that she produces. This is an ultra gloss lip in Moonchild. And that is this guy right here. Wait, no. No, 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 no. It's this one. Sorry. It's this one. It has some color to it. I'll redo the swatch. It has some color to it and like compared to this is a gloss also um, that I'll show you next and it has little micro glitters in it. So it's really nice on its own but it's great as a lip topper. So I really love this one. Is ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Fairy Floss. And this is the swatch of that. 
and I really can't get it any darker than what it's showing up as. So it's just a really nice light gloss to swipe on your lips if you're running out to do some errands and you just throw on some mascara, fill in your brows, put on some blush and you know, lip color or maybe skip the blush even, whatever. You skip the mascara, curl your lashes, do whatever you do, do you. <laughs> but you know, that's what I would typically do to run out the door. Actually today I went to Walmart with my mom and I put on the mascara and the blush and a different highlighter and I've taken a nap since so it kind of wore off when I put a new one on and a different lipstick and I filled in my brows just a little bit but then I started playing around and did my brows more and then I'm like well I'm gonna film so I'll put on more blush oh I need to tight line and do my waterline and I'm like, oh, I should curl my lashes so they look longer, and I just started doing more and more to my face, and I don't know. It was all for your benefit, so. Anyway, this is Fairy Floss. This is like, no, this isn't one of my favorites. I like this one a lot, but this I thought was something different. This is Ofra in the shade Verona. This is their liquid lipstick, and... It's just a nice messy wand and which one is it on my arm is the question it is this one this dark one so this is one that came in my boxy charm a few months ago so I probably would never have picked it out on my own based on the swatch but with the like on my lips, I really, really, really like. Next up, we have a Smashbox one that is in the shade Driver's Seat. And I really like their little teardrop wand that they have. Smashbox makes some of my favorite liquid lipsticks. Like the formula is just insane. And that one is this guy right here. I can bring you there. What? Huh? Huh? Which way am I going? It's that guy! And then this, this, I have a matching one on this arm. Because of, as I've told you before, I don't know how to shave. I started shaving in fifth grade, so I was 11. It was my birthday in fifth grade. I turned 11 and I started shaving. No, it was before my birthday, so I was 10. I'm 39 now. 29 years and I still can't shave without cutting myself at least once. It's just, it's beyond ridiculous, but it's what it is. Speaking of back in the day, this is something that I used to use then. It is the Dr. Pepper Lip Smacker. It's the um, Bonnie Bell Lip Smackers. And this is what it looks like. There we go, and it actually gives more, shows up more than you would think it would. I don't know how to put my arm to show you the best way. Okay, it is right here, and you can tell that there's definitely color there. You can see the swatch, for sure, and I have goosebumps right now, so if you see bumps within these swatches, like, that's what it is. I can't really build it up much more. I don't know. I got a little pinker down there. Um, but it's just, it's still in the same vein of the other colors. It's definitely still the, the same vibe of what I like. And it is just nice to put on just like fairy floss, floss, <laughs> fairy floss or moonchild or, um, you know, the two glosses. You know, just to pop on something, like with a little bit of something going on. And um, adds, oh, not nice, this isn't going back down. I used to do that all the time with my lip balms. And I didn't really think about it, because I don't use them that often anymore. If I use a lip balm, I'm more apt to use something like what I showed you the BKR Paris that comes in a little pot. 
So, anyway. But obviously I do use this because I put this in my purse. And, like I may have already said, I cleaned my purse out recently, so. Alright, next up we have Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Color. This one reminds me a lot of the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suits. And it has a similar wand. And it has like the little dip in there. And... It has a really great smell. It's not vanilla-y. It's not... It smells like Twizzlers. Oh my gosh. It smells just like Twizzlers. Oh my gosh. You guys, you have to buy one of these. Like, if you don't like the Wet n Wild liquid cat suits, don't waste your money just to smell this. But if you want to try this, they're like $2.50. And... They're the same type of formula, same type of wand, and they smell even better. These smell exactly like just the regular Twizzlers, not the cherry ones, just the regular strawberry Twizzlers. Oh my gosh. I've been trying to figure that out for like a year or something, and it just hit me. Wow, that was a loud snap. Okay, I have two left, and one of them, I think I showed you the wrong one for Smashbox. Smashbox, this guy, this is one of my favorite formulas, it's in the shade driver's seat, is actually this guy. So, this one is the one that I'm going to be showing you next. But yeah, so this is, the, they look the same, so you can see how I could get confused. But I remember the order that I did them, and this one is still creamy because it's a bullet lipstick, and this one is dried down definitely like a liquid lipstick. Next one is a little baby. I love little baby things. And it's Bites Beauty in the shade Chai. And this is the color. It is so adorable. And then again, this is the swatch of it. So, yeah. I feel like I can't get in the middle, but if I do, I like end up... It doesn't matter. It's not like you can't see it because it's over here. I don't know what I'm thinking. It's like, people show palettes off to the side and stuff. And that's what I'm, one thing I did in my declutter is, like, I tried to show the palettes all underneath because I didn't have a monitor and I didn't have a viewfinder as I explained, and so I only knew what I thought I could see, and when I was reviewing it back, I did watch it back on the camera, um, because I almost refilmed it because I thought it was so horrible, but I decided against that. Um, I'm just going to edit it and put it out there, but where was I going with this? I have no idea. Oh! I was holding all the palettes below me and I'm like, Amy, you are a freaking idiot. You could have held the palette out to the side. Like, and like, this is a book, obviously. But, yeah. You could have held it out to the side instead of like trying to go like this and like, you know, ooh, wait in here and cover my face. And I'm an idiot. Alright, the last one is another great formula. Ciate. London Liquid Velvet. That's not focusing, but I just told you what it is, so... There we go. The lights are just too bright. In Diva. And I was about to swatch it for you, but I don't need to. This one has a really nice... kind of teardroppy wand to it. Couldn't think of the word. And that is obviously this one. So I don't know what I wore a red lipstick for, but I had to take this with me for touch-ups because if red lipstick comes off or starts looking patchy or anything, like you definitely have to fix it. And it was the day that my mom made a comment. She's like, have you touched up your lipstick? We went to Marshall's 
And all we did was try on a few things. We looked around, tried on some stuff, and she asked me in the car afterward if I had touched up my lipstick because she had just touched up hers. And I was just like, no, I'm not going to touch it up for like hours, you know? I mean, I don't even think about it when I'm wearing a liquid lipstick, especially even when I'm wearing a normal one. Like, I just kind of let it wear off, and then I'm like, oh yeah, i got to put it back on. Um, but, yeah, she was just like so impressed. She's like, your lipstick looks the exact same. I'm like, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> that's why I don't get why people don't like liquid lipsticks. Like, I mean, they can, can be too dry, but if you find the right formulas, like... Ciate London, the Jordan Sweet Cream Matte, Ofra is incredible, um, and then the Smashbox. Those, they're, they're freaking phenomenal. So, anyway, yes, these are what I had in my purse, and so there are, this is really counts as two. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 in like three weeks I managed to hoard that many in my purse. That is all I have for my video today. Um, I'm going to edit this video and the declutter video tomorrow and I will never fails. I thought I was going to get through this video because there's only three minutes left. I thought I was going to get through this video without my phone going off and I thought I was going to die actually. Um, there's only like 5% when I started filming 45 minutes ago. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to get those up for you. That is my plan. So anyway, thank you for watching my lip products in my purse video and check out Mitch Hedberg this is the entire shirt it's just one of those like spoof shirts like they have the Obama ones and stuff and I forget what the original one was but anyway anyway yes these are the colors I like these are my swatches and these are my viewers who I am thanking for watching, and <laughs> I will see you in my next video, or you will see me, or however it works, I don't know. I'm just chatting away, and in my head, you all are talking back, so. Um, hit the like button if you did indeed like this. Subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell if you haven't done that yet so that you know when I upload, since my schedule is a little all over the place. So, yeah, again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Peace out.